hello hello you guys it's lauren welcome back to my channel for the love of if you're joining me for the first time i want to say welcome and thanks for taking the time to click on yet another bath and body works slash white barn candle review if you're a returning viewer or subscriber welcome on back you guys as always i hope you're all doing well um as i've been saying in my past like five videos we are in full on fall candle season, um, Bath and Body Works, Yankee, a lot of other places. So I'm obviously gonna be doing a fall candle review for you today. Before I dive into today's review, I do wanna just mention, um, I have my eyes on like two or three other Bath and Body Works fall candles. Um, so I will be doing more reviews for you guys. Don't know when I'm gonna get my hands on them. I haven't had time to go in store. Now that the stores are open, I want to get in and sniff around. I am also eyeballing a couple fragrances from Yankee. Um, I know they're available uh, at Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, and a couple other retailers. I'm waiting till Yankee stores actually have them in store, so we can do that two for 40. Um, or they might be doing maybe, who knows, special promotions on the fall collections. So I'm waiting on that. So I do have fall candle reviews coming. It's just a matter of getting my hands on the candles. I do also want to mention you guys are going to see a lot more out of frame videos from me. It's not that I don't want to sit down and chat with you guys. It's just simply a time thing. I'm back at work now. Um, and actually, in the end of August, I'm going to be going back to school. So it's more of a time issue than anything else. I will definitely still be doing reviews. My vendor wax lovers, I do also have one more vendor wax order on the way. Um, I ordered it a couple weeks ago. It's a new one. So it's one I have not reviewed or hauled before. I'm really excited to try it. So I'll have that coming hopefully, hopefully in the next week or so. So keep on the lookout for that. Now you guys clicked on this video for a candle review. So without further ado, let's jump into today's review of White Barn's Apple Weather. And you guys, um, before I dive into the scent notes, this candle, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did post a couple photos of this candle. The labeling on this is super, super pretty. I was kind of debating whether or not to not, I wanted to actually have the candle lit and burning while I was filming, but I also wanted to be able to kind of hold it and look at scent notes and everything. But you guys, this candle, when it's burning, it's really, really pretty. Um, it actually has, I probably should have lit it to show you guys, when it's burning, the leaves are actually opaque, so it actually kind of glows through. It looks really, really pretty. This is one of those candles where you probably wouldn't have to put it in a candle sleeve if the coloring matches your decor. Um, I really like the aesthetic of this one. I also just reviewed another one called Pumpkin Bonfire from this collection, and it also had the wraparound label. Love the packaging on this one. Again, I think one of my subscribers mentioned the name of this collection. I don't recall what it is. There's about five different scents in this White Barn collection. Into the scent notes, we'll kick it off with that. As always, so notes for apple weather include fresh farm stand apples, lavender notes, and cinnamon bark. So what are my thoughts on this fragrance? So I really like it. If you like apple and you like like fall apple fragrances, I think you're really, really going to enjoy it. And I like it too. Um, I thought since it had lavender in there, um, sometimes I'm weird with lavender blends. Um, I can do lavender and fruit type blends, which is why I thought I would really, really like this one. Um, on cold, it smells very, very similar to how it smells while burning. Um, to me, it was almost, personally to me, it was almost too much. Um, I. It's a great scent. I like the fragrance, um, but it was a little almost too strong, too heavy. Um, I can't quite figure out what it was about it that I didn't just, I just didn't like. I don't know if the cinnamon note is too, too heavy because when it was burning, it wasn't like an intense cinnamon. There was almost just like this overly crisp apple sharpness. Um, and I don't know if it's like that tinge of lavender that almost kind of just makes it too, too heavy. Um, same thing with like uh, leaves. I used to love Bath & Body Works leaves. I do enjoy that fragrance, but I don't burn it much anymore because it's it, it's too much. It's just a little too intense for me. Um, the throw on this one, it was great. If you want like a, a decently strong fall fragrance, I would definitely check this one out. 
not as strong as leaves, um, but it's up there. I had this going out here, obviously right where that little pumpkin is sitting. Um, I had it going for like two and a half, three hours, um, one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. This was like a solid, probably eight and a half. Um, it, it was up there. It was in the immediate area. You could smell it in the other rooms. It's a really, really strong fragrance um, and it carries and it's heavy. <laughs> So I think that's what it is. I think it's a little too heavy for my taste. I think a lot of you will like it though. I, I do. Um, you get this really pretty apple. The lavender isn't, if lavender wasn't listed in the notes, I don't think I would realize this had lavender in it, if that makes sense. And then the final note, the cinnamon bark, it's not like a heavy cinnamon. It's not like a red hot cinnamon and it's not even like a cinnamon stick or anything like that. It's just got a bit of a smoothness to it, but this is kind of the epitome of a fall fragrance. Um, I may burn it one more time just to see um, if it's tolerable, but for me, it just is a little bit too much. Um, this one might be going back, but this is one of those reviews where, even though I might be returning this one, I think a lot of you apple lovers and a lot of you fall fragrance apple type lovers will really enjoy this scent if you like a stronger carrying fragrance. But for me, it was just a little too much. And I do like strong scents, um, but I think there was something with that apple and lavender blend that was just a little too intense for me. So would I recommend this? Yes. Um, if you want a strong scent and you like fall fragrances, absolutely. If you get headaches or certain intense fragrances are a little too much for you, you might want to skip on this one. If you guys have used this fragrance or any fragrances from the fall collections, leave them in the comments below or let me know what you guys are burning right now. Before I sign off, I do also want to mention to you guys, I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, when I test out candles, um, vendor wax, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me. You guys, that is it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.